Hey guys, welcome back to How To. I'm Jaden, this is Jackson. And today we're going to be showing you how to play with magnetic roller rings. With a Z, not an S. Z. Uh, so you can pick these up at any like local store probably. You've probably heard of them. Um, today we'll be showing you how to play with them safely and, um, and, and a lot of fun. So they have the suggestions on the back on how to play with them. Um, Jay, why don't you go ahead and read the warning label really fast. Warning, to avoid injury, do not drop or throw with force. If it's okay to drop or throw, just don't do it with force. Keep magnets far away from electronic equipment, including televisions. That's them to say really fast. Yeah. Okay, so if you're wondering what uh, counts as force, there's a simple equation, uh, force equals mass times acceleration. So to calculate the force you're throwing these things with, um, you're gonna wanna measure these and maybe get like some fancy uh, lasers they calculate the acceleration, then you multiply those together and you have the force, and then you know that you should not throw it with that force. It's a good tip. So, don't keep away from electric equipment, including televisions, computers, pacemakers, credit cards, checks, audio video tapes, and computer discs to avoid irreparable damage. You hear that? Irreparable. You can't fix it to these items. Powerful magnets may suddenly attach to nearby metal objects or themselves with great force, which may damage objects or bruise or pinch skin. So basically you want to avoid great force with these magnets. And you want to move on to the next? Yeah, and remember they can suddenly attach to metal uh, objects. Thanks for the reminder. So if you have like a metal object that you hold dear to you, do not put it near these magnets. Yeah, like rem what if this table is metal? Like think if this table is metal and then we put the magnet by it, it might attach with force and pinch or bruise skin. So don't do that. Um, so some suggestions on the way. It says flip them, roll them, spin them. Oh wait, flip them, roll them, spin them. So many ways to play. Wow. So um, there's a plenty of ways to play with these. You won't have a shortage of uh, ideas. You can flip them. Roll them, spin them, they show pictures on here of how to do those things, diagrams. Um, the first game mode is capture. You stick as many rings to your ring as possible in one flick. We'll be showing you how to do that later in the video. Um, I'm going to read this top warning label really fast. Uh, there's warning labels. Are... Do not drop on hard surface or a toy may break. Discard toy immediately if broken or cracked. So you see, if there's a crack in there, you're going to want to discard it. Immediately. Immediately. If not immediately, as soon as possible, next to the immediate moment. All uh, right. Jayden. So it says a finger sport action. So this isn't just like a hobby or something that you do for fun. This is a real sport. And so if it's not already a sport at the school that you attend, I'd suggest me having a meeting with the athletic director and uh, recommending <laughs> recommending this as a school sport. Um, magnetic power at your fingertips. So if you've ever like looked at your fingers and you're like, whoa, I wish these were magnetic, you can just attach these to your fingertips and then you'll have magnetic power at your fingertips. And um, it says here, fun moves on back. So should we... Uh, show them the moves. Go ahead. Show them the moves. Oh, oh we need to open it first. First read, first read this caution thing. Oh, <laughs> to avoid getting stuck... Never slide ring past your middle knuckle or force it on. Ring must fit loosely on finger, never snugly. If stuck, apply lotion. Lotion I found really helps if something is stuck. Um, or soapy water, that uh, helps too, to remove. If necessary, seek medical help immediately. So that's like a doctor or a nurse or a hospital or an ambulance or someone who knows like CPR and stuff, that's medical help. So uh, I'm gonna read this final warning before we open them. Uh, yeah, so um, this is the final, like fifth warning, fourth warning. I don't really know, there's plenty of warnings on here. Um, but it says, use with adult supervision only. Um, so we're, we'll be having an adult come and uh, watch us while we play. Um, this is made in China, as you can see right there, um, by Jaru, or I think that's how it's pronounced. All right, so we're, let's get to the unpacking. Uh, should we have an adult before we open them in case? The uh, drop of force or something. Yeah, probably. So. All right, we have. All right, so we got um, we have an adult uh, supervisor right there. Um, he's legally 18 and uh, able to supervise. 
All right, so these are what they look outside of the package. Wow, they're even better in person. Would you like to play with the orange one? Yes, can I please play with the orange one? <laughs> yes, you may. Thank you, Jackson. Um, I'll be playing with the green one. Um, I'm, dang it, it's not going farther. No, Jackson, remember the, <laughs> remember the rule. To avoid getting stuck, never, never, not ever, slide ring past your middle knuckle or force it on. Ring must fit loosely on finger, never snugly. Does it say never in all caps? It does. <laughs> okay. I guess I better listen then. Uh -huh. How do I know what is my middle knuckle? You count your knuckles. You see a one, two, and three. And two is in the middle of one and three. So you know it's number two. Okay, I will not play with the ring on my number two knuckle. All right. This is how you spin the ring. Mine is faster. <laughs> well, mine has two. Oh. So that is how you play with two. As you can see, he's enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Awesome. Um, uh, I'm going to be playing with mine on the ground. I'm going to loosely, uh, wait. I need to make sure I'm playing with these, right? Okay, let's play capture. Just take as many rings on your ring as possible in one flick. So let's put the two rings out there. We have a maximum of two to capture. Yes! Two points. So if, uh, if, if this was a sport, he'd have scored a two. Oops. Okay. With a maximum score of two, so I'd say that's pretty good. Oh, uh, that's almost 100%. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna also, I'm gonna take a different approach. I'm gonna flick it, more of a... <laughs> that's okay, you can try again. Okay. That's okay. You can try again. Let me look at the back label again. Okay. Oh! Oh, you got one. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, how do you get them all? <laughs> I, I don't know. Good job, Jackson. All right, what are some other ways to play? That was pretty fun. Also, we forgot to mention, you have to be eight or older to be playing with these. And we don't want any young people pinching or bruising their fingers because of excessive force used by colliding magnets. F equals MA. All right, Jane, would you like to read arrow? So for arrow, you want to flick your ring through the arrow, hitting only the center ring with your ring. So we're going to make an arrow right here. As you can see, if we have more fun toys, we could put one right here. But since we only have two, we'll make a two arrow. And so it does this way. So Jackson, in this game, you know what I'm noticing? What? All of these games require like eight of them. Oh. Maybe we'll get more someday. So you want to, you want to avoid this one and hit this one. Can you do it? Okay. Uh, please comment below if you think I can do this. Um, remember, in the end, it's not about scoring; it's about having fun. All right, I'm gonna try a flick. And you scored it. Wow. All right, would you like to try? I don't know. This one seems a little extreme. All right, then don't try it. You wouldn't want to do anything that would make you uncomfortable when playing this because that could result to excessive force or a dropping of magnets. Um, if you'd like, we can put the uh, warning labels, all, uh, all of them, in the description if you'd like. We'll probably type it up in there for you so you guys can review it before deciding whether or not you want to purchase this product. Um, remember that this is kind of a big commitment. Uh, We'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any further questions that we did not answer in this video, please contact your local Roller Rings expert, and he or she will help you have a better experience while playing Roller Rings. Oh! Is that a flip I see? Yes. Whoa.